Around the western North Atlantic, the Dolphin Fish Research Program is working with the sport and recreational fishing community to study the life history and movements of the common dolphin fish. This is being done through a mark and recapture study where more than 14,000 fish have been conventionally tagged, resulting in more than 400 recaptures dispersing from the Florida, South Atlantic Bight, Bahamas, and Puerto Rico tagging zones. This is exciting research for truly an exciting game fish whose aerials keep fishermen ecstatic day in and day out. And so it seems, some more than others. Other attributes, such as their brilliant colors, abundance, and tasty fillet, make this species the most landed by weight where it occurs. This stresses the importance of this research and the need for more fishermen to step up and give back to their fishery by tagging and releasing a few small dolphin fish every chance they get. Every fish has the opportunity of being recaptured and providing a new connection in their migration, including releasing these fish with satellite tags whose data provide critical information on their vertical movements in the water column on a daily basis, leading to a more thorough understanding of this fishery. So how do you get involved? Log on to www.dolphintagging.com to get your free tagging kit. But first, let's see the process of tagging a dolphin fish. Every fisherman knows the feeling. You get to your boat early, and you turn on the lights, you start the motor, you turn on your sonar, your GPS, and then free the stern lines and prepare to motor out of your slip with hopes that today will be a great day. For the crew of Missing Onhill and Captain Manuel Boteo, another element has been added to their outings and that is tagging and releasing any healthy dolphin fish below 36 inches. Since 2008, Captain Boteo, Irvin Baez, Alexis Alfala, Ernie Martinez, and Chris Whitley have collectively worked together to tag over 294 dolphin fish around the island. Once sargassum or another floating object is spotted, the crew sets out their lines rigged with number 7 circle hooks as opposed to J hooks and waits for a strike. Meanwhile, the tag applicators and tags, including a measuring tape, wet towel, and dip net are prepared and set nearby. Once you hook up, mark a waypoint and fight your fish. Bring it alongside the boat and have one of the crew dip net it. Once in the net, bring it on the boat and place it on the deck and cover it immediately with the wet towel. Then tag the fish in the upper dorsal area above the pectoral fins at a 45 degree angle with the tag trailing towards the fish's caudal tail. Then take the fork length and a picture, then send it on its way. And do it again, and again, and again, and again, and again, until we receive the desired results. And at the end of the day, we fly the flag with pride after bringing the big ones on board and letting the small ones go.